Hello and welcome back. Uh, I was going to demonstrate perhaps another high surface area mining rig. Uh, in this case we're going to be using a ship. I am on uh, Trenton in order to demonstrate this. And uh, please consider subscribing if this was useful. Now let's get on with the tutorial. Or in this case, demonstration. So everybody has probably done this at least once. Um, a mining rig on the front of their ship using some rotors and some drills maybe even a piston so it goes down over time or maybe a double rotor like I showed in the previous video uh, ignore this safe zone this is not actually a good spot to put that uh, I actually just copied and pasted this ship from a survival uh, world and um, anyways I just had the idea like what if the whole ship was the mining rig and uh, so it is definitely very viable. Obviously, I'm a little bit late game because I got some jump drives and stuff. But uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that you can, if you put a little bit of thought into things, you can mine a ton of material. Now, this ship weighs like every bit of like 3 million kilograms. So um, it was, I only intended it to actually be on like moons and uh, Titan or. Europa. I didn't really intend to bring it on planets. I just decided to go with Trenton because it has this massive lake. It's mostly water on the surface. And so we just put a rotor on this landing gear here. Now, if you really wanted to get um, complicated, what you could do is put a piston here and then just drop down this system here and this way you can just slowly lower the piston and slowly lowering your drills into the ground and you could drill even deeper in just one section. Granite, um, the ice on Trenton in this case only goes like maybe seven meters deep, but uh, it is plenty for what we're gonna do. And there's plenty around, so surface mining, this would be like optimal. So, let's just, what we're going to do here is if you look at that middle bar uh, where it says A gravity and P gravity, there's a level. And that tells you how level your ship is. And you basically want this as level as possible. And I need to just tilt ever so slightly here. It may take a little bit to get adjusted depending on your setup. And so, before I hit the ground, what I want to do is grab my drills, which they were just right there. Turn those bad boys on. But you could always add a group and add it to the hot bar like a pro. Next, uh, we're going to turn on the rotor. And I have this set to uh, three and a half revolutions per minute. And we're just going to come straight down here. And we're locked. It doesn't say that we're in park, but this is because the landing gear is on a subgrid. Next thing I'm going to do is the rotor that the landing gear is attached to is set to 0.1 revolutions per minute. So, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. And now the ship is slowly just going to spin. And while you're doing this, turn off your dampeners. Assuming you're parked because you don't want to burn fuel while you're mining your fuel. And another potential um, setup for this is if this was set up, you know, to your refineries and stuff. Um... Or, well, not even your refineries, but just, uh, you could have blocks on this, um, on this landing gear here. And you could put your safe zone on this stationary piece, the landing gear. And what you could do is, you could attach or detach this rotor, and you could fly off with your ship, and, you know, attach this setup to it. And you could come back and... You could run hydrogen engines to power a safe zone because you're able to mine so much ice. 
And you could get like extremely elaborate with this using pistons because you could go much deeper and you could even set it to like go down at like a thousandth uh, minute or an hour or whatever it is you want to do. And then once this is completely mined all the way around, you could just fly up and then move just so that your circle here that you're making just passes this line right here on the outside and then you could start another circle and just keep on going and you can just trail around the entire planet with the safe zone and never even have to worry about jump drives and going to get uranium you could just stay on a planet and i kind of personally like trenton it's a little bit different of a of a landscape it has a different atmosphere to it it sounds funny saying atmosphere when you're just talking about the overall ambience uh, just make sure that your ship is level I recommend getting out and checking it because as you can see here the level of this thruster is like just barely about to touch the ground here and in actual survival mode this could break that thruster but of course you would want to design this better I just designed this on the fly and wanted to show it off uh, just put your thrusters up here you know and uh, that's basically it for the tutorial, and I hope you'll consider subscribing, and thanks for watching.